In this WPVV tutorial, I will show you how to copy a website from any old WordPress website to a new one. Why would you want to clone WordPress websites? Well, for several reasons. Personally, for me, anytime I need to design websites for clients in similar business or industry, I always discover that most times my workflow are usually similar. And so, instead of trying to always start creating websites from scratch, I just copy the old website and um, simply clone it into a brand new website and do my little edit and in minutes I have my brand new website ready. As for you, it could be for any reasons but at the end of the day, this how to copy a website in WordPress tutorial help you to clone and create a brand new website easily, fast, convenient and at the end of the day, you make more money easily warning here you don't even want to jump any point of this video because if you do you might lose important details and your cloning process may fail as you will discover as you watch this video so make sure you watch without jumping through this video so you don't encounter any glitch in your cloning process so if you're ready to clone your wordpress website into a new one with a new domain then let's get started all right so this is the website that i want to clone as you can see this is the back end of this wordpress website let me just check up on the front end so you know what it looks like all right so this is what the front end of this website look like and actually it's one of the services i provide where i help schools to build cbt portals so let's assume that i want to build this kind of website with this functionality for as many as let's say 10 15 schools and i do want to start building them all from the scratch since they are all supposed to follow the same pattern so all i need to do is to come back to my back end here and then i want to go install a plugin that we're going to be using to carry out this process so i'm going to come to plugin section and click on add new all right so once i'm here i want to come to the search bar here and i will just type in wpvvid without leaving any space in between them okay so this is the wordpress plugin that we are going to be using for this purpose and as you can see here it has more than 300,000 active installations with more than 800 you know five star reviews telling us that this is actually a safe plugin for us to use so i'm going to come here to install now all right and once the installation has been done successfully i'll click on activate all right so once i've done that the next thing i want to do right now is to go to the new website that i want to copy this particular website into and then i'm going to install this same plugin there so um, let me go to the website right now the, here is the website if i click to see what the website look like you will see that this is just an empty website as you can see this is just an empty website with one of the default wordpress theme on it so let's get back to the back end of this website okay so i'm going to do the same i'm going to come to plugin and i click on add new all right here again i'll come in here and search for wp vivid i'm going to install it activate so now i will head back to the original website i'm trying to copy now as you can see WPVV is a very good plugin that performs a couple of functions. As you can see here, you can actually back up your website using this plugin. But because we are just going to be doing a copying or cloning of our WordPress website, in this particular tutorial, we are not going to be talking about other functions that this plugin performs. If you want to know more about the WPVV plugin, you might just have to subscribe to this channel for that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do right now is to back up this particular website and then we go ahead and complete the process. So what we want to do now is to come to this point where you can see database plus file WordPress files. Of course, this particular function has been chosen as the default, so you want to make sure that this particular one is checked. And then you want to come here also if you like you can back up your website to your computer or you can back it up you know to any of the cloud storage but i want to be backing my own up into my computer so i'm going to leave it at this default which says save backup to local once i'm done with that i will come to this backup now and then i'm going to click on it and as you can see here that the backup process has begun so i'm going to wait for a while for this backup to be completed of course how fast it will be will depend on the size of your website obviously so let's wait for it to complete backup so as you can see here one backup task finished all right so that shows that our backup has been done successfully so i'm going to scroll down 
And as you can see here, our backup has been done. So what I want to do right now is to download this backup to my computer. Okay, so I'm going to come to this download tab here. I'm going to click on that. And then I'll still come back here and I'll click on download. As you can see, the file size here is 85.49 MB. So it's a very small file. So I'm going to click on download and then I expect this to be downloaded to my computer. So I'll come here to check out the process. You can see here that the downloading is taking place already. So I'm going to wait for this download to be complete. Okay now, so our download has been completed. So technically we are done with this particular site. So what we want to do now is to go to the new site that we are trying to clone, our website in two. And now that I'm here, still on this WPVV login, this time around, I'm not going to be clicking on backup now. Instead, I want to click on upload here. As you can see here, because what we want to do now is to upload the file that we just downloaded from the original website that we are trying to clone. So I'm going to click on upload. And then I'm going to come here and click on select file. You can also drag and drop it. Okay, so this is where my file is on my computer. So I'm going to just double click on that. And then I'm going to come here and click upload. And then once again, we're going to wait for the uploading to be complete. Of course, as you can see, this is where you monitor the progress of your upload. So let's wait for it to be complete. Alright, so as you can see this notification here, the upload has completed. So I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to scroll down. All right, so the next thing I want to do right now is that I'm going to click on this particular restore function here. But something is going to happen when I click on this restore function. I'm going to be locked out of this WordPress dashboard automatically. And when I log out, something interesting is going to happen. Now, in order for me to log back into this dashboard, I will not be able to log back in using the usual username and the password I use in logging in already. Instead, I'm going to only be able to log in using the login details of the original website that I'm trying to clone or copy. So make sure you have the username and the password of the original website and because you are going to be logged out of this new website right now after we click on restore and then you will have to log in using the original website login details. But don't worry, we are still going to change it again. Okay, so that should not be an issue. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to click on the restore button and then I'm going to click on restore right now. But again, there is another warning you need to know. Once I click on this restore right now, make sure that you keep your page here. Don't switch to any other page because according to the notification warning given to us, if you do so, the restore process might not be successful. You might have some glitch. So you make sure that once you click on this restore, so you will have to wait here patiently for this website to be installed or restored into this new website successfully so if you're ready and you get that so i'm going to come in here and click restore are you sure you want to restore i'm going to click ok and then i'm going to wait patiently for this process again to be completed and once again you can use this particular meter to monitor how your restoring is taking place Alright, this is a good one. Restore completed successfully. So I'm going to click on OK. And like I told you, I'm logged out automatically away from this particular website. So I'm going to be logging in with the credentials of the hold or the other website right now. And then I will go ahead and change the username and the password back to the particular username and password that I want to use to log into this new website. So let's go ahead and do that now. Login now. Okay, so I'm now logged in into this new website right now. And then let's just check it up and see what this new website looks like. Remember, it used to look like this, okay? So what I will do right now is that let me just refresh this page and let's see what the new website will look like. As you can see, the new website now looks like the old website that we had before. So as you can see, this copy or cloning process has been done successfully. Okay, so let's come back to our dashboard. And then what I want to do right now is to, of course, change the login details of this new website. So I'm going to come to users here and I'm going to come to all users. All right, so here I'm going to come to hard new. Okay, so I'm going to give my username right now. Okay, email is required, so I'm going to use one of my emails. My first name, my last name, website is not necessary. Okay, here I'm going to generate my own password. Okay, I'm going to confirm this password. 
Then I'm going to come here and then this is very important for rule. I'm going to come here and choose administrator. All right. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to click on add new user. Okay. So now that I've added my own new users, what I will want to do naturally is to delete the other user that I was using to, you know, log in. But if I do that right now, in fact, if I want to try to do that right now, it will not be possible because I'm actually logged in in the hold or the original login details. So you can see here that I only have a date and view. There is no capacity, you know, to delete this particular person. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to sign out of this particular back end. Okay. So once again, I'm now going to log in with my new login details. And I'm going to log in. All right. So now that I'm logged back into this new website, I can now decide to go ahead and delete the credentials of the old website completely if I so wish to do so. So I'm just going to come back to users or users. And then now you can see here that I am logged in in my whole new, you know, login details. So you can see here that I now have the permission or the capacity to delete this old website details. So I'm just going to click on delete what should be done with the content owned by this user of course you don't want to delete all content after all that is the reason why you did your cloning so i'll just attribute all content to the new user now so i'm going to check this second option and then i'm going to confirm deletion so now i can now log in with my new details no issue again so all i just need to do right now if i want to now use this new website i might just go to all the pages and all the posts and then I can just go ahead and probably update them, update them, probably change the URL extensions and all of that. And then I have my new website cloned, <laughs> done and ready in just a few clicks and a few minutes. So this is how to clone a website in WordPress and copy a website from one WordPress website into another. Here on your screen is another video that help you copy any HTML website and convert it into a WordPress website or a WordPress template. I highly recommend that you check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like so YouTube can suggest it to more persons searching for this kind of solution on YouTube. And if you're yet to subscribe, why not do so? Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.